Well, well, everyone, we have something of a treat for you today. A few days ago, I was just minding my own business, when all of a sudden I received a message from a friend. Something rather, uh, interesting, which they felt the need, for some ungodly reason, to share with me. The video is titled, Captured by the British, ASMR, and of course in parentheses, you just so happen to be a patriot. I saw about five seconds of the piece and was deeply, thoroughly disturbed and thought, well, by God, this, this just, we just, we can't leave it on its own. We have to make something out of it. And so, of course, I reached out to the other two uh, best redcoats on the internet. We have Chris the Redcoat from the channel of the same name. Hello. And then, of course, we have Mr. John from the Far Off Station. Hello, chaps. How are you? <laughs> oh, oh, also, I should read the description of the video, incidentally. Um, ASMR Patriot, you have been captured by a sadistic redcoat colonel. Doesn't specify what regiment that colonel may be from, but he's a colonel. It doesn't oh, matter. To remember. <laughs> He will try to use his mediocre English charm and primitive torture techniques. Why the colonel is the one doing the torturing, who knows? It doesn't have underlings to do that, but I guess he likes to get his hands a little bit dirtier. Um, to turn you against your allies in the American Revolutionary Force and pledge your allegiance to the crown. Will you be able to escape? Or will you end up saying, God save the king? Oh, yes. That's and just my sign off. Mad. Let us begin. I'll hit play. Okay. I'm, uh, terrified. Oh, and of course, we start off immediately. Uh, has anyone ever seen a portrait or an example historically of a colonel wearing black leather gloves, by chance? I've only ever seen, like, deer, uh, you know, nat more natural colors and, like, gray. No, never black. Like, like, gray, uh, white leather, uh, doe skin mm. gloves are pretty common. I've never seen black leather. This seems a little bit more, um... Well, you know. And as well, that, that shirt there, um, that, that, like, the, the ruffles on that shirt looks, uh, more Elizabethan? It's, it's quite ruffly. I will say that. 1781. All right, so we're in the late war. Okay! Okay. Um... Oh, look! It's Colonel I Party! <laughs> <laughs> um... Who would like to begin? Uh, where, where to start? Uh, the hat, obviously, is, um, something. It's something, yeah. Yep. It's... It isn't so much a cocked hat I mean, so much as it looks like a like it's a so turned deceptive. up sombrero. It looks like one of those cheap hats you get when you go to a eye party or something. That's oh, so you mean it's yeah. it's one of those hats from yeah, the, exactly. the Washington like it, it looks series? Like I mean, it, it looks like around the outside of the hat, there's like. It's a form of lacing, but it looks more like mm. a chain that's been wrapped around, and like it's a gold or something. Um, it's an interesting pattern, but it's definitely not, you know, any mm -hmm. any lacing pattern that I've seen before. Look at, of course, as well in the corner there. I believe that flag is post eighteen oh one. It's very much a modern day British flag, and uh, very mm -hmm. ra like randomly placed. We have a portrait of King George the Third in the background there. Uh, I'm sure it's it's very nice, of course, that this colonel manages to bring a portrait of His Majesty the King wherever he goes. Although it seems like a rather strange piece, especially when there's no other decor in the home except for. Uh, the flag, like, there's no portrait of the man's family he might bring with him. There's no, um, I don't know, military maps or, or a, like, any anything that would be, make more practical sense. Uh, but, of course, when we have this stark, like, random log cabin room uh, where this man is staying, and you only have a portrait of the king, we really get that very harsh, like, uh, you know, Nazi, uh, sort of uh, North Korean-type vibe of... You know, th this is the, uh, this is all you need to focus on is, you know, is the dear leader and all that. Well, the dear, dear leader has his portrait of the king hanging up with a little plastic hook. Bring it on a string and they're like, eh, just throw, throw it up wherever you can find room for it. It's a, it's a very interesting piece of camp equipage to outfit one's, um, you know, one's headquarters, which is what I assume this is going to be. Uh, other than, of course, maybe it's a, uh, uh, again, some sort of dark evil torture basement that this, uh, random colonel happens to have for whatever ungodly reason. The wig there, the, uh, the white hair, um, looks a little unkempt, I would say. For a man of his stature as a colonel, 
He didn't even say mm-hmm. lieutenant colonel. He said colonel. So yes, exactly. He is the, oh, the highest echelon. Like this, this man commands an entire regiment. He is like he has an estate back home, probably. But um, it doesn't have dressed, the most pricey wig, I must say. And he's dressed up like Colonel I Party. You know, it's as well random black leather belt across his uh, chest. Don't know why. Maybe we'll see details about that later on. Uh, no waistcoat. He's not wearing any sort of a waistcoat there. And his facings have no buttons on them to speak of either. Good lord, we're in not even a minute to the video. Why don't we play it before we rip him apart in the first 37 seconds? That's fair. Come on. <laughs> oh, 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 look, look. Not even- The candles aren't even lit. What? What's the point? <laughs> They're not even lit. And it's obviously this dark place. So where's the lighting coming from? One has to wonder. I mean, it's definitely not, um- Exploring. Kubrick and he's got the really good lenses that can handle all the light, so... <laughs> Isn't the entire point of ASMR that like you're supposed to have like really high quality audio? I, I can't really understand too much what he's saying here. I don't think you're supposed to so much grasp what he's saying. I think it's you are supposed it's supposed to be more emotive. I see. What, uh, what emotion am I supposed to be feeling right now? That I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Not one bit. <laughs> I can at least say with it in the... The way he's speaking and the way the draw is and with the music in the background, it is slightly unnerving, I, I think. I think that's the goal. He wants it to be, I don't think. I would probably agree with you on that. Do we want to skip ahead a couple of seconds? Well, we might, um, we might miss out on very valuable plot details. Chris has a point there. I want to know what this guy did. How was he caught? That's true. So that's that's the thing about these things. You want to rip it apart, but it's like, but then you don't catch the it. It's possible that we already missed it. Oh, hey, <laughs> I think I might recognize that like little wooden box there with the anchor in it. I believe that is um, the, the same sort of case that we actually used to sell at a museum I used to work at. We sold like little mini spy glasses for the kids. It's like a little faux wooden case. <laughs> I was going to say, I thought it was one of these little useless box things. Oh, it didn't even work. God, save the king. king! We heard that one. That's been the highlight of this whole part. Yeah, no. I would say so. I agree with that one. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. Is that a washer in the middle of his hat there? Look at the very, on the, on the, on the, um, the very oh, top center. It's, it's like a press stud, one of those cheap just... things, uh, that you, I think it's to keep the back up or something. Interesting. All right. Very period. For the 18th century. Oh yes, oh yes. My ticket to freedom. Oh boy, okay. Great. He looks Thank like you. Will Doyle. We got a ticket to ride, old boy. Again, no buttons on the facings whatsoever. The facings are like angled really weirdly because it's like the coat is, it looks like the coat is more like a robe. You know, the facings ought to start like rather tight at the front and then balloon mm-hmm. outwards. He has like the exact opposite, almost like, like a 1750s style. And it's clearly not wool. Oh, it's very clearly not wool. <laughs> oh, oh and, nope. and if you look at the facings, you know, obviously, as we can see, the, the lacing, it, there's like two or maybe yeah, three. Yeah, there's like two buttons on the left side and one button on the right side. They look, it looks like the, what's this, that style, the, the, the style of lacing, like the 33rd regiment coats have uh, with like those arrows and whatnot, but they're facing the wrong way. They're like the worst bastion loops I've ever seen. Bastion, bastion lacing, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're bastion like, loops, the but they're backwards. And, and the way his leather strap thing is going across is really weird, too. He's wearing a Sam Brown belt. Look around his waist. That's exactly what it looks like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a Sam Brown belt. Knock off Sam Brown belt, too. It's not even like a Sam Brown belt. <laughs> Of course, one has to drink the tea in the middle of the torture session. Dear Lord, look at that shirt. Oh my God, look. He said chai. He's cultured. Oh, there you go. He's cultured. Oh the thing goodness. is, if you also go back though, he didn't have anything in the cup before. <laughs> the cup was empty, so he's not You'd even drinking like, anything. You would think a loud slurping noise would really go in with the whole, like, we like noises thing, I guess? I, I don't know. Um, but it's like, yeah, look, look at how wide Gosh. open that shirt is. Like, there's no button keeping it, you know, 
close that, that that looks just so uncomfortable the minute he lifts his arm up it's just going to slide all the way down maybe that's the point maybe it's more attractive or something i don't know if that's the word i would use but okay I mean, it's, it's to be commanded. oh wait look you can see his real hair behind the wig You're good lord okay he respects us yeah. so is this Patriots. Hmm. Patriots. That's a weird way to say so we all... Hopefully that will change. What yeah. makes us so important to, to be interrogated by a colonel? That's a bloody good question. Uh, oh. Oh, okay, so just an outright acknowledgement. Okay. So I indeed, indeed. The man wasn't wearing the wig to make it look like he had a period-appropriate hairstyle that was, like, powdered and cued. Rather, within the lore of the system we've already, like, you know, figured out here, the man is just outright wearing a wig. Um, but why, exactly? Like, especially, especially if this man is going to be trying to torture someone, which still has not been, I don't think, explained why we're being tortured by a full colonel, or being tortured, really, in general, for that matter. Um... Uh, but but an officer wearing a full white powdered wig, first of all, like while on campaign, is like, uh, do you just actively want to be less comfortable? Do you actively want to like waste the money to have a nice wig with you on campaign and everything? And and in this sort of environment, again, it's sort of like there's a real disconnect as far as why. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm actively less comfortable right now. But also, why does he have a wig and have naturally long hair? I don't understand that. No epaulets as well. He's a full colonel, but he doesn't have any epaulets on his coat. That also does not look like the correct shade of red. I know it's very desaturated, but, you know, like that looks more matter red than anything. Yeah, whereas, again, officers ought to have a much brighter, more scarlet color. You know, the coat that I'm wearing right now, you yeah. may be able to tell is a much darker shade than Chris's coat because he's a sergeant, and when you get to a certain rank, your coats mm -hmm. are made of different colors, different materials. Problems. Okay, I've never done ASMR, ever. I've never watched them until this. Are they always this rapey? I, I, I don't... <laughs> Are they always this unnerving? <laughs> so therein we come to the, um... The chief problem, I think, with this kind of thing is, as well, like, looking at a lot of the comments of this... I won't say necessarily that this is this man's intention, but a lot right. of the comments in the vi in, in the video description and whatnot seem to be like weirdly sexualizing all of this, and mm. I really cannot help but feel with the dark and seductive whispering, and with the you know the black leather gloves, and just the entire energy about it does give a very sexualized feeling, and it it's very uncomfortable because ultimately the description itself says you have been captured by a sadistic red coat who is torturing you. There is nothing sexual about that. Like, maybe for the torturer, but that's because the torturer is disturbed in the mind. But then we look to the comments, and there was there was the one comment that really got me. Liz. Liz. Liz, what are you saying? Oh, Liz God. saying, I'm being this held one. captive by a handsome Englishman in uniform. Oh, no, how terrible. Yes, Liz, it is terrible. You're being tortured. That is a very terrible thing. Don't sexualize violence. Is that is that a hot take? Am I, th I think it's too late. I don't think, I don't think she. You're stopping it. She's already left the comment. So she's already left the comment. It's too late. Go. Oh. And then Natalie said, "LOL." I feel that. Oh. You just no Gorget. I guess he's not on duty though. That makes true. Sense. So he just tortures people in his spare time. He's just kind of doing it for funsies. It did say he was a sadist, so I guess that checks out. Which is good because they break. He said Patriot like eight times or something. And now is to drive home the fact that like, oh, but who's the real Patriot? And we have this weird, uh, again, he's like trying to get into the moralizing of like, well, you're fighting for your country. I'm fighting for my country. Like, okay, like, calm down, we get it. It's, I feel like this sort of video is not the most appropriate place to try and uh, cover the, let's just say, moral complexities of civil war. Uh -huh. This is just making me very uncomfortable. It is pretty uncomfortable. Oh, look, did you guys see the, uh, the sash that he's wearing? Here, I'm gonna pause it like, when I can get a good view of it. It looks like he has, like, a... 
What? Like a little black belt wrapped around his waist, <laughs> or like a bit of ribbon. Do you see that? It's a very thin sash. Is he wearing like a white scarf or something? Well, I think it's um, supposed to um, be like a ruff of some kind. But the ruffle should be coming out of his shirt, and that's, I think, might be going around his collar instead. It, it, yeah, it looks more like an Elizabethan, you know, Y type thing. It's just been... Again, what do you expect from iParty, iParty or Amazon.com? <laughs> it's... The standard's pretty low. I hope that code isn't polyester, because that thing's about to go up. <laughs> Alright, oh, uh, good... I wasn't, honestly, I wasn't expecting him to actually smoke. Not, not... Oh, 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 oh! Did you see what he lit that with? Wait, no, oh! That was a match, wasn't it? Yeah! <laughs> good catch! <laughs> okay. Oh, that would have. And like, here's the thing: if you're going for ASMR, like Flint and Tinder or whatever, would have been great, you know? Yeah. Or, or what if he went down and knelt against the fireplace and lit a little, you know, an act, you know, a wooden match and lit it in the. That would have been good. Fire. Okay. Well, can we go back like ten seconds? I want to. I want to see that yeah. again. Yeah. Go back. To give us information. Mm -hmm. At least he didn't use a lighter. I mean, you might as well have. Well, you know, I was I was in it. I mean, my guy. Well I was have. like with you. I was into the fantasy. I'm like, oh boy, I'm in danger for my life. I'm going to be uh, mutilated by body and mind. This is exciting to me. No. But now, you know, now I just, I'm 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 out of the fantasy. I just I can't feel it anymore. My immersion, it's it's gone. Okay. Again, this seems really sexual. I, I don't... Is this his idea of torture? Just calmly smoking a pipe in front of you? Yes. Yeah. Okay, hold up! Uh, hold on! What the heck was that? What is with the leather belting? I... I... Uh, first, oh of, first of all... First of all... There are far better, if you're genuinely, genuinely torturing someone to get information out of them, giving them a welt across the bum is not exactly the best way to go about doing that. I don't know if, like, I don't know, maybe I'm the weird one for knowing more about torture. Maybe, maybe I just don't know enough about it, and maybe this guy is, like, a world beyond myself. Again, reinforcing the idea that this is more of, like, a weird sex thing than it is, uh... I was going to say attempting to garner any historical reality, but then I, I think this is fifty shades of red, and not you've been captured by Colonel Newton. He needs going to get you for information. I, I, I think, I think we very clearly yes. have established the basis for this video. <laughs> that is a that is a good point. That's a good point right there. Um, the chains, the the, the metal chain, like. D are they just carrying chains like with them on campaign? I feel like while you see fetters in a formalized like uh, like prison hulk or like like any sort of like prisoner of war situation, if we are led to believe that we are just like some random patriot uh, who has been thrown into this guy's torture cabin for whatever ungodly reason, which is evidently from the future again, given the flag in the corner, um, like. Does this personal colonel just, like, bring chains with him wherever he goes? Does no one else within the army apparatus be like, Hey, uh, colonel such and such, why do you have that... Why do you have those leather, like, belts, uh, like, that aren't regulation and the chains and, like, the... I... Let's move on. Let's move on. To be fair, well, maybe nothing this guy is wearing is regulation. Well, well, maybe they're sitting in the Hulk of the Jersey. In the prison ship. Oh, oh, we're getting uh Okay, first oh, off, no. no neck stock, no stock. You can see his collar. To be now. fair. Oh, so that's where the red comes from. Okay. Do people God save me! <laughs> I well I Do people It's Modern Warfare 2. Say God say this is where the uh, the little quote by some philosopher or a uh, great military general comes up. <laughs> or it says, friendly fire will not be tolerated or something. I've said it! I've said it before! Oh my god! My guy! What are you... I don't, I don't think that's a place where I want to say God save the king. That's... no. No thank you. Thanks, mate. Right. 
what is okay? No, I feel like the usual way to get information out of some <laughs> random prisoner you got is just to rough him up a little bit. Oh, he just whipped us. He just whipped us, oh, Brandon. Wait, wait, with what? What, what did he whip us? I don't know. Just, uh, oh. Adobe Action Essentials 2 Blood Splatter as well. Blood <laughs> Splatter as well. What is this? Is that like salt in the wound or something? Or... I'm, I'm confused. Oh, it's gunpowder. Okay, so he whips the person, put gunpowder into the wound, and is now going to bite it. Oh, he's going to cauterize it for us. How kind. Actually, yeah, that's, that, yeah, that's pretty good. How kindly. Is he going to strike it with a match, too? Yep. <laughs> he's really emphasizing that it's a naked flame. There's, there's the match again. Yep, there's. I'm, I'm, and just like that, I'm gone. I'm out. Is he gonna strike the match too? He's really <laughs> emphasizing certain kinds of words. Yeah. Well, what was the point of that? I thought you were gonna light it. Oh, it's he has to tease a little bit first, Chris. That oh, way, uh, uh, sorry. The anticipation of the moment. If you got those from the future and you're now in 1780, whatever, don't you want to save those? That's just a shame. Have a pint and wait for this whole thing to blow over. It's gonna blow over, right? This guy is wasting so much time in, like, what could otherwise be just yeah, a genuine information getting session. Right. I think I know what to do. Oh, he's... He's, he's got the wig back. He's got the wig back. Is he gonna make us wear the white wig? Oh, God. God, please, no. I'm having, I'm having flashbacks to elementary. Is he gonna torture us? It's a very unkept wig, as we'd mentioned before. Oh. Wait, go back, though. We can kind of see... What? What the lace there, quote, quote, oh, looks yeah. like. Oh, yeah. What is that? What? It, yeah, it's what? like a chain wrapped around the brim of the hat. What is it? I mean, I... the thing is, this whole kit looks more like Seven Years' War. I mean, it's still bad than it does, yeah, like, it's... American War of Independence. It's like it's not the way that you wear the cocked hat. And generally, the fashion is you want to have it, like, a uh, little slanted off to the side, that, and then sort of, like, you know, raked off to the side. Um, combination of military fashion, and of course, at least for an enlisted soldier, when you have a firelock on your shoulder, um, then you're not going to knock your own hat off, things like that. But uh, yeah, wearing, that. It wearing it straight on like that, that, like that kind of looks civilian. Looks Just saying. What are you yeah. talking about, Brandon? I thought everyone wore their hats like right. this. Come Press on. Press onwards. We're almost done. We're almost through to the end. Oh, Tic Tac. I want a Tic Tac. Oh, oh boy. We got mints. Shot. Shot? But it's what? white. Do but it's white. Saltpeter? Salt Peter? What? I guess. I Were those supposed to be musket balls that he was trying Just to show us? Yeah, but they look like white Tic Tacs. Yeah, really. I mean, like a musket ball is uh, very different in its appearance. There. Like 18th century BB gun. Oh my god, he's literally going to mix- he's gonna make gunpowder in front of us in order to shoot us? Is that what we're- is that what we're, we're, we're witnessing right now? But, but it would have been made in Britain. Yeah, like in <laughs> literal, very convenient, pre-arranged cartridges. This seems yeah, very inefficient. Okay, alright, so he's pouring powder down the barrel. Let's see if he primes. Let's see if he actually primes the piece. Well, he just used all the powder this, there. This seems very inefficient. Okay, what the heck is that? It's clearly a ramrod. It's clear. Clearly. It's like made of paper. And why are you ramming down loose powder? It falls Wait, to does the that bottom. Mean, does that mean Look, the that it, mean, even hit it has its own ramrod too? Right. Does that mean the rammer inside of that little gun is fake? <laughs> I think it does. Alright, so 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 he's making gunpowder on the spot, pours loose gunpowder down the down the barrel of the gun. Rams the loose powder home for whatever with a random reason. stick. With a random yeah stick with like, it, honestly it looks like a giant Q-tip to me. I don't I don't know what it's meant to be exactly. Let's but, not worry about what it is because we probably so don't now, want to know what it is. So what is this now? He like got a, like a little. It's like he got a little bit of something else that he's like ramming down just a teensy tiny little bit like on the top of the powder. Unless that's like a part of making the powder in like this weird fiction, but it. Like, whatever weird powder he put on, he just, like, put on top of the powder, so it's not going to change anything of the chemicals there. And also, yeah, these are just mints. They're literally... They're white. <laughs> they're white mints. He's, Take off 
the gloves are so slippery. So bad. Just grab one, my guy. Take off the glove if you can't use your fingers. There, there you go. There you go. You did it. What a tiny caliber, too. Have you ever seen a musket shot that small? Like that's like a twenty-two caliber. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be shot, not necessarily <laughs> one single ball, but oh, oh, I don't even think there's enough though to fill the barrel. He has you like two. <laughs> oh my god! Come on, buddy! It's, it's like a twenty-two. <laughs> this is. <laughs> and he just drops it right in. And now watch. What do you want to bet that he's? Oh, because he has some wadding for it. Okay, he has a little so bit. He of used it's two like... little tiny balls and some wadding. You know, the, the wadding was also black. Why? What is this? Is like, the most torturous part of the entire video? Paper. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. <laughs> Why did he tap it at the top? What does that do? Uh oh. Okay, so he does cock back the, the pistol. He actually knows how to load the thing, but he didn't prime it. This is. There's what, no what? risk to this whatsoever. I am not right, scared. We're safe. No, nothing's going to happen. Yeah, I'll be honest. Safe. You can save a lot of money if you just use the dark method. Yeah. I'm more scared for him, honestly, at this point. <laughs> No, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, you didn't prime. I mean, the barrel's loaded, but, but, but yeah, it's not gonna. Generally. It's gonna go off. I'm really not concerned, old boy. At this point, please do. <laughs> End my misery. Hey, at least he has a flint. Oh wait, true. hold on, hold on, hold on. Are we sure it's a flint, though? I'm no, pretty wait. sure that the steel isn't even pulled. Yeah, forward. shut your pan, dude. He obviously uh didn't read the manual. All the powder is falling out at this point. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you say. Again, that all the powder would have fallen out if he'd even bothered to prime. This is like this is day one stuff, and this guy's a colonel, supposedly. Well he could only afford to get his uniform at iParty or Amazon.com, so you can't really expect much out of him, you know? Wait, what what we hold on, we're chained oh. up, but we somehow stole the gun. It's not loaded! Do it. Do it. You know it's gonna fire. You know it's gonna... If this thing fires... Oh no... Look... <laughs> I surrender. <laughs> He's a colonel! Just call That's... for help, be like, oh, He's just like, God. well, you got me. Like... You would think that there'd be a couple of men outside. This man is the worst torturer I've ever seen. Oh, they're... There's a really bad music again. It's like a MIDI version of the British Fort Grenadiers. I think that's what it is. In fort. For Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Okay, alright, here's Whoa. another thing! Here's another thing I'm gonna call you out on. First off, the yeah, swearing listen. is so unnecessary. Just because okay. you're being sexually actually warped and depraved doesn't mean you gotta use the naughty language. But also, if you want to be appropriate to the 18th century, just because a modern day swear word is very meaningful to us today, like, doesn't mean that that's the most offensive thing you can say back in the day. 18th century, you'd probably be better off to say, damn the king. Because that has a, like, in a much more theological world, the word damn has a much heavier implication, you might say. The F word, while, like, I'm pretty sure it existed, it wasn't, like, as common or popular. I, I might be wrong on this, but I'm pretty certain that, like, if you want to really, like, you know, hammer it home, like, God damn the king, that would do it. Like, that that's a lot more meaningful. Um, and indeed, if you look at a lot of the old-timey, you know, books and just literature and whatnot, like, damn is a word that they're quite usually censoring because it has so much more meaning so much more weight in this historical environment well, you know what i mean this guy already has damned the king because he's a colonel in the king's army and he's just so bad the army's already a shame i think we're almost there we're almost at the end wow come on shoot him with the tic tac yeah, this guy's a colonel and he just doesn't care he's like yeah fine take it okay sure so in this world, I guess somehow holding a colonel hostage wins you an entire fort, despite the fact that you're surrounded by soldiers. He really doesn't. Okay, sure. Please, yeah, that's a tic tac. Someone shoot, shoot someone with the tic tac. The tic -tac. <laughs> shoot him with the tic tac already! Come on! Please, wait. All right, so now we shackle him. <laughs> Shackling him Shackling while him still, still holding, still holding the pistol. I might add. Yeah, that's impressive, honestly. We're no, he didn't even get shot! What the hell? 
So it's kind of bizarre that uh, they're playing Heart of Oak. It's okay. It's okay. Midi, uh, Heart of Oak. All of that. All of that. And we didn't even get... Final man. thoughts? Gentlemen, final thoughts? Oh, bother. Oh, bother. No. What? What? What did? What have we done? What? Yeah, oh. honestly, like, okay, so this is not my world. No, I don't know how these people operate. You're but if the beer. entire point is like, is is like violence is sexual, and then at the end of the day, we don't even get to see the guy get shot. Like, isn't that kind of like withholding something from? It? I don't it, know. It's don't know. in general very anticlimactic. Some people are into that. In, in, in. At the um, beginning, though, in general, it kind of, it, it rises, but then you get, like, two-thirds of the way through, and then it's just like, this is just stupid. <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, some people... There's no escalation at all. Yeah, it's... Well, maybe we don't, considering how sexualized this video was. Again, we come back to the core. The core problem with all of this is, if you are watching this video to be relaxed or as an enjoyment factor or anything like that... Jim ASMR, I won't comment on, on who you, on what you do. I've only ever seen part of this video. I haven't seen any other pieces of your work, although I saw there's a lot of Harry Potter stuff. Makes me roll my ass a bit, but I cannot speak to what you are intending the audience to get out of this content. However, real talk, uh, to anyone who watched that video, if anyone happens to listen to a video where at least the conceit is you being tortured... And especially if you are receiving some sort of physical gratification, shall we say, from the idea of being tortured, and especially in a non-consensual environment, I would recommend that you seek help for this. This is like, the, the meme, like, no more memeing. That's really not okay. That's not something that you should give yourself into. It is a, an indication, I dare say, that something is wrong. I beg of you, please, seek out someone. Do something, anything. Um, all right, that's my soapbox. That's my soapbox done. I'm not an expert on mental or sexual health, but I feel like violence and whipping and strangulation, especially, again, when it's non-consensual, maybe don't. Yeah. Kind of, maybe hold off on that. That's, that's my hot take. That's Brandon F's hot take for the evening. I'm not sure if that is really a hot take, though. That seems slightly uh, grounded, if you ask me. But that's my opinion. <laughs> well, then. I, uh, I suppose that will about do us then, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for tagging along. Do we want to go in order and do a little our little outros and such? John? Uh, so, anyway, normally I've been lately saying cheers. So, cheers, everyone. Cheers. Chris? Bye. I know this was a very common phrase throughout that whole video that we just watched, but um, oh, don't say it again. <laughs> God save the king, I suppose. Oh, and God. of course, until the <laughs> time, my dear viewer, I am and I shall remain your most humble and obedient of servants.